Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to Earthbound. I am Sire Goku. As I mentioned before, I was going to. At the end of the last episode, I mentioned that I'm going to meet you back at the Dusty Dunes Desert, because in the previous episode, we managed to escape from Moonside. And, well, Paul is still missing. But we got a message from a monkey who told us that Talarama was waiting for us back in the monkey cave. So we have to go here, back into the desert. Uh, hopefully we don't get smashed by a bunch of guys, but we... <laughs> it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, these guys are just mole playing roughs. Anyway, if you forgot where the monkey cave was, it's just north of the drugstore. In the desert. <laughs> he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. And you have some weird monkey music. <laughs> Thankfully, when you're underground, you don't have to worry about sunstroke. <laughs> Uh, if you came in here earlier, uh, there would be a guy meditating in front of this in front of this door, so you couldn't actually get through here. <laughs> but now we have ourselves a, a maze, and typically I hate mazes, but this isn't actually too bad. Uh, you talk to these monkeys, and they're going to ask for a specific item. This one here wants a skip sandwich. This is why I said you want a picnic lunch and skip sandwich before you come here. So, give them the skip sandwich and he'll move out of the way. Talk to this one, and this one wants a picnic lunch. <laughs> and there you go. Now, the ways you need to go, there, there's different rooms depending on which way you go. We're going to go through the skip sandwich door first, and then we're going to get this chest inside the chest. Whoa, there's a wet towel inside. <laughs> okay, well, we can't do anything else here. So we're going to go back, and we're going to go through this way. And open up this treasure chest, and whoa, we get a pizza! Sweet! Uh, let's see here, what do we want? Um... Do I have... Do I have a double burger? That's not actually what I want. Oh well. Now, I may not be able to get everything in here. Yeah, I may not be able to get everything, but I'll try to get as much as I can. Um, let's see, talk to the guy here. Ooh, I am Monk. Monkok, and I want to eat a tasty pizza. Alright, so you want a pizza. Fair enough. Good thing we just found a pizza. Yeah, usually you're going to find every single trade item that you need in this area. <laughs> there we go. So that one wants a pizza. Let's see where that lead us to. Um, oh, we got really weak enemies here. Opening this chest, we find another pizza. Huzzah! Good, because we need it. <laughs> and then we come in here, we find this monkey. 
Somewhere amongst, all, somewhere amongst all these rooms, you should be able to obtain Dragonite. <laughs> And then this monkey will always give you an egg. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, well, this monkey is always going to give you an egg. Okay, I see where I need to go. <laughs> Once again, I am using a map because I don't remember every single thing about this place. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, doesn't feel hot in here, my fur is all sweaty, maybe you, you don't keep a wet towel, but if you have one, yes I do. So we'll give this guy a wet towel, and let's move out and go back in. Okay, yeah, sorry for the lack of talking, I don't like maze areas, I'm usually really bad at them. Oh, there's a hamburger, sweet. And a ruler, and I don't have space for it. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, is anyone not fully healed? Ah, screw it. I don't need the double burger. I'm just going to drop it. <laughs> there, because you do want every single item that you'll find in here. <laughs> So let's try and get around these guys here. There we go. Uh, sort of. Oh well. I don't even want to bother fighting you guys. It's such a waste. Okay, well, these two monkeys both want hamburgers. I unfortunately cannot give them both what they want. <laughs> At least not right now, so I'm going to go through this door first. I do recommend after you give them the item they want to leave and come back because then it just makes them automatically spawn next to the door that you want to go through. <laughs> and we have a broken tube. Alright, and that's everything I can get here, pretty much, so let's go all the way back to the start, which might take a little while, but if you just keep walking all the way back... Also, the thing about the fresh egg 
is it will eventually become a chicken. So you may have to go back and get another one if it runs out. <laughs> But anyway, we're good. now that we're back at the beginning here, I'm just going to go through the skip sandwich door here. Get rid of you. There we go. Yeah, sorry about the silence with this place. Yeah, it's a chicken now. Darn it. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so you want a protein drink. I don't have a protein drink. Hmm. Fair enough. Oh, then there's this. Do you have a pizza, please? Whoops, I spoke to you in the human's language. <laughs> okay, well, we do have a pizza. I love talking to him afterwards. Thank you. Crap, I used the human's language again. Okay, boom. Okay, and then there's the protein drink that you need. Just wonderful. That's exactly what we needed. There. <laughs> Give him the protein drink. Let's see, and I have the other item that I need, so we'll get to that in a second. So go back through the protein drink room, so... So go back through the protein drink door, open this to get a hamburger. Okay, however... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that chicken. I actually want to go back and get another egg. Which shouldn't take very long. I just need to go all the way back to the beginning. Wonderful. <laughs> it's actually not that long. <laughs> Yeah, this should lead me back to where I need to be. So, go back to this way. Yeah, that was where we had the pizza. And this is the monkey that wanted the pizza. And that gets you another pizza. And then this should be the, guy, the monkey that gives you the egg. Okay, so to get to the so I'm just gonna meet you back at the door that needs the to the monkey that wanted the egg and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> A strange shattering for a monkey. 
If I eat a fresh egg, I recover some health. And this yeah, and this monkey wants a ruler. <laughs> Yay! He wants to measure. It's a, she wants to measure her own tail. Why not? <laughs> and coming into this room, we find a neutralizer. This is why I wanted to do this. Give the neutralizer to Jeff. He doesn't even have to fix it. He just is the only one that can use it. Now, what does the neutralizer do? It resets the abilities of all creatures to their normal levels. Any changes that take in place due to PSI and such is neutralized. It also neutralizes shields that were in effect. Offense, defense, guts, etc. So it gets rid of buffs. The downside is it takes buffs off of yourself as well. <laughs> so keep that in mind. <laughs> Let's give Nest the laser gun, because I want to give Jeff the, the broken tube. I want to give Jeff the broken tube. There we go. Alright, and that should be everything we need to do here. Uh, you can get a fire pendant as well as dragon powder, which is... Well, dragon powder is one of the strongest uh, attacking items in the game. Uh, but for now, we're going to go through here, and we need to talk to this monkey. What, you never heard of teleport? Then I'll give you the king banana. That didn't make sense, did it? <laughs> and we got the king banana. And I, I love the dis I love what happens when you try to eat it. King size banana, not edible. You'd probably regret it if you ate this now. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what we came for. Now that we have the King Banana... Now we need to go all the way back. Well, not too far anyway, thankfully. Uh, we just need to go back one room. Then back through this door. This is where we got a protein drink, and now we have this guy. I am Man K Man. To me, the most interesting thing is the King Banana. What? Are you giving me a present? Yes, I am. Here's your King Banana. I apologize if I haven't shown off everything in this place. I'm not Chugga Conroy. I'm not going to do a 100% walkthrough. <laughs> but there's no... I've pretty much shown off all the important stuff here. Yeah, I'll get rid of some space. I don't need this hamburger. Because we're going to need at least one thing of inventory space for this. You know, despite these guys being super weak, I'm still getting about 3,000 experience from them. That's crazy. <laughs> but 
But now we have yet another pencil statue. Um, make sure you still have the pencil eraser in your inventory here. If for some reason you don't, once you've successfully opened your way through everything, you can always leave and come back and you don't have to re-give away all of the items and stuff. <laughs> And, but here's Talarama. <laughs> oh, well, now that... Well, this is the first time we've ever actually mentioned the fourth playable character. <laughs> Maybe we'll be getting him soon. <laughs> Uh, yes, I did, actually. <laughs> and we got the yogurt dispenser. Hooray! <laughs> of course I want to learn this new skill. <laughs> There is another item here, and I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the picnic lunch. Why not? This item here is what's important. There's a cup of life noodles inside. Huzzah! I need that. There's also a brain food lunch in this ch in this thing in this treasure chest here, but uh, I don't think I need it. We'll talk to the monkey. And he will teach us teleport. But we have to walk all the way back out. Thankfully, that doesn't take very long at all. <laughs> so, yeah, this is another one of those kinds of... Kind of boring dungeons, I apologize for that. It's a maze. There was a monkey maze in Mother 1 as well. Which was a lot more confusing in, than this one was, that's for sure. <laughs> But getting out is a much easier thing. All you need to do is just keep walking to the right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, wrong monkey. Okay, talk to this monkey. Keep following him, and... Hey! Hey, Mole, why are you coming after me? You should be running away from me. So he's gonna teach us the ability to teleport. Once again, something straight out of Mother One. If you have a running, if you have a long, if you have a straight path, then you can just run, and then you will be able to warp somewhere. <laughs> so you warped from, you warped to Foresight and came back, which is where we need to go anyway. <laughs> but you can build enough, build up enough speed if you're running. <laughs> uh, you can build up speed if you're turning as well, but it's. For, for teleport, uh, it's easier to just run in a straight line. You can... You can run in a circle. If you really need to. But... Let's teleport to foresight. Uh, boom. And now we're back in foresight. Wonderful. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. And now that we have the yogurt dispenser, we'll talk to this woman here. Before you can answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't forget. <laughs> 
However, I think I'm going to save that for the next video because... We got ourselves another dungeon. It won't be that long. Oh, also, Psy Teleport costs two Psychic Points, but... Shouldn't matter too much. But now that we've gotten... The key to getting further into the Monotoli building, in the next episode, we're going to be rescuing Paula from the Monotoli building. Or Monotoli, whatever you want to pronounce it as. I think it's... I, I've said this before, I think it's pronounced Monotoli. Because I think it's supposed to rep I think it's supposed to sound like Monopoly, but I don't know. <laughs> but we will deal with that in the next video. All right. So thank you guys for watching. This, and I will see you in the next video.